and welcome to BusyBots, and happy Halloween. Today I want to show you a lot of different Halloween toys and things, uh, especially for the kids. And I want to use it as a, as a way to talk about printing multiple objects at once using the multiply function of Skeinforge. Now, I've printed a whole bunch of different things here from Thingiverse. And I just wanted to call out and say thank you to all the people that are posting their designs on Thingiverse for free for you and me to download and print on our 3D printers and experiment with and learn better how to run our printers. So thank you designers on Thingiverse. And all these items will be listed in the show notes. You can download these yourself, take a look. And what I wanted to explain is that normally you'll download an STL file from Thingiverse and you can print one object. So if you download this STL, you can print one, uh, assuming there's just one laid out in the STL file. If you want to print two, you would go through all the setup to print one, wait for it to finish, come back, take that off the platform, and then start over and print the second one. And that takes a lot of time. There's a lot of time uh, taken. First of all, you've got to show up exactly when it's done, otherwise the time in between is, is lost. And two, um, every time you touch that platform, you're possibly upsetting it and uh, interfering with the leveling of the platform to the nozzles. So the fewer trips you make to the printer, the better. The other is that every time you hit print, you have to wait for the thing to heat up again, uh, possibly changing your, some of your calibrations, but also just taking time to heat up. So printing two actually takes quite a bit of time uh, versus printing one set with two on the plate at once. And that's what Multiply gives you. Multiply lets you print uh, as many as you can fit on the platform. To be honest, as many as you can fit on there. You take your measurements, figure out how much, uh, how much space you need, figure out how many rows, how many columns, and set yourself up in, with a, a custom profile in Replicator G, if that's what you're using. And you can print as many as you can fit in one pass. Now, uh, it's very demanding in that you have to have the platform perfectly level. Right? The easiest thing is to print right in the middle. If the edges are uh, you know, off kilter, well, at least the middle will be less so. And if you're printing right out to the edges, that's the, the most difficult way to do it. So you've got to have everything adjusted properly. But assuming you can do that, then Multiply is a great way to print lots of objects. Now, I'm going to um, roll into Replicator G and show you how to create a custom profile to print 12 of these ghost bookmarks at once. And 12 of these pretty much fills up the whole platform. I printed them in a few different colors. Here I've got orange and, uh, and white. This is um, natural ABS filament. This is uh, MakerBot Safety Orange. And um, it takes a long time, of course, to print a bunch at once, but it doesn't really matter, especially if you're doing it overnight. Uh, what's the difference if it takes an hour or six hours, as long as you're not there to uh, sitting and, and watching it go? Uh, a lot of these smaller prints, like these little spiders or these bats, they may take five minutes or maybe ten minutes each. Uh, but you'll spend more time than that in preparation and coming back to the printer time and time again to set up, remove the print, clean the Kapton again, and so on and so on. So Multiply is very handy, uh, especially when you have everything set up just the way you like it. You can print out multiples at once. So I'm going to show you how to uh, run that in Replicator G and I'll show you some pictures of the, um, the platform, how it looks when you get all 12 on there. And then uh, also I just wanted to give you some ideas for different things that you might want to print for Halloween. And uh, I think I'll come back and make a separate Halloween video that's just for fun, just to, just to show some of the objects and not talk about the technical details of, of how to do the printing. Um, uh, in fact, I want to come back and show uh, Open Open SCAD. I think that's how it's pronounced. Open S CAD or Open SCAD. I'm, I've never heard anybody say it. Um, that's how I that's how I made this. Someone posted their script on Thingiverse, and so th this. I hope you can see that uh, this spider web and this spider web are actually from the same script. You just modify the parameters, and you can generate your own STLs. And once you get into Open uh, Open SCAD, there's a lot of possibilities. You can really create a lot of things. But that, that's for another day. So I just wanted to wish everybody a happy Halloween. And uh, if you wanted to make a bunch of little things, uh, these little little uh, I'll, I'll give you all the links here 
So you can download these yourself if you'd like. And uh, the kids love them. I can't make them fast enough. And uh, these are all printed out actually to go to the local school. So I hope I can explain a little bit about how, how, using, uh, how to use Multiply and Replicator G. It'll save you a lot of time. So thanks again for coming back to watch the video. And now let's go to Replicator G. We're going to use, for example, this ghost bookmark by Thingiverse user John A. So as you can see, the STL file includes a single, uh, single bookmark in the STL. Here's the preview. So if we click here, you can see what you'll get when you lay this out in Replicator G, which is one bookmark laid out on the otherwise empty bed. And that's fine, and I'll show you how to print. Uh, in this case, we're going to do 12, 12 at a time. So first, we'll download this 59K bookmark file. Let's get our file. All right, and then we'll take it into Replicator G and use the multiply function to print 12 at once. Here we are in Replicator G. I've opened the STL file we just downloaded. And if I printed this, we would just get one copy, but we want to make 12. So in order to do that, we have to make a custom profile. Come up to G code, edit slicing profiles, take the profile that you normally use, make a duplicate and give it a name. Multiply 12. And then we're going to edit this and turn on the multiply. So come into the craft section click on multiply, activate multiply. In this case, I'm going to use six columns in two rows. Two rows. Save and close. Done. So now when I generate the G code for this bookmark, you'll only see one on the screen. But in order to get 12, oh, we'll save our file. In order to get 12, you pick the new profile. So we'll do multiply 12, choose my extruder, the various options. I already had this set for the bookmark. And let's make sure my plastic is correct, yes. And these are the settings that I'm using for my printing the bookmark and generate G-code.